guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming another new casual video. I wanted to get this up because I just thought it would be really fun. I just received my Jaclyn Hill palette and uh, to say this was the most anticipated palette of 2017 um, would not be an exaggeration because they hyped this up so much and talked about like it being this new formula and like no never before seen palette and like customized and Jaclyn Hill's like ride or die shades and things like that. They hyped this palette up so much that I was super excited to get my hands on this. I do like Jaclyn Hill's YouTube channel. I've been watching her for a long time. If you haven't seen her channel, definitely check it out. She's got like 4 million subscribers. So she is a huge YouTuber and she collaborated with the brand Morphe. And if you watched my channel before, you are probably familiar with the brand. Um, and they make very affordable makeup. Uh, there's a lot of controversy surrounding Morphe because they're kind of like one of those Instagram brands. Personally, I've never had any problems with their products with like shedding and stuff like that. And the price is definitely worth it, you know, to purchase from them. So anyway, I was excited when they collaborated because I'd never got the Jaclyn Hill Favorites palette. Um, I was just getting into YouTube and just had found Jaclyn Hill when that palette came out. So I'd never picked it up. Uh, but without further blabbering, let's get into this palette. Now, this is priced much higher than Morphe's regular palettes. It's a $38 palette, and I will talk about it more in my review. For right now, I just wanted to swatch it and have a little fun with you guys. Actually, let's swatch this way because there's exactly five shades in each row, and that way it'll be easier for me because I have five fingers. So, I mean, the pigmentation is definitely there. But, you know, Morphe's never had bad pigmentation. Their shimmers are quite pigmented. So here it is. The formula doesn't feel any different from their other eyeshadows, I must say. It feels pretty similar. I did watch a Total Makeup Junkies video on um, the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'll link that down below or up in the cards. But she did mention in her review that she did a comparison of the uh, ingredients in the Jaclyn Hill palette versus the other Morphe palettes. And she found that the ingredients were identical, which I thought was pretty sketchy because I'm pretty sure Jaclyn Hill and Morphe both have said that this is a all new formula, that she got to like work on the formula. And this is like completely customized by Jaclyn, but um, you know, you just never know sometimes with brands and like people will say anything to sell palettes these days, so. Here is the next set of shades. I was so excited for this jade color. I just really think it's beautiful. This palette reminds me a lot of Juvia's Place just because like they do a lot of these fun colors. So that's nice to see. And this palette I just think is one of those like a little bit of everything palettes, which I personally think Juvia's Place is very good at. Their palettes do have like a little bit for everyone. Um, so. Hopefully I'll get some good use out of this palette, but for me, it feels like it's swatching just like any other Morphe palette. Doesn't feel any less or any worse quality wise. So here is the next row. And I thought the palette was gonna come with a card that had the names of the shades, um, but it didn't, so I don't know the names. So here is, these are the next five shades right here or this next set of shades is very like earth tones. I can see that row like being fun in the fall time, especially with this like forest green shade at the bottom. So very pretty. Next row, next three rows, the last three rows are all like brown, orange, fall shades kind of. Very, very like Morphe, like true to Morphe, because they always do the burnt oranges and the these two shades I've heard a lot of really good things about and I can see why they swatch beautifully and there's still a lot of pigment left on my fingers so very very pretty swatches of those I hope you guys don't mind me doing swatch videos what I'm realizing is that it takes me a while to test out the product and do a review and sometimes first impressions are hard to do too because I do my makeup like fully for those and like today I'm after work and I can't film in the morning because I just don't have the time to do that. So at least if I do a swatch video, then you guys can see 
swatches of this palette on my skin tone and I don't know that there are a lot of people with my skin tone um, on YouTube because there's definitely of course like African American girls but um, I don't have African American skin. I'm of Asian descent so I'm like tan but uh, yeah I just wanted to show you guys swatches so I was really excited for this shade it's like a pinky gold like duochrome and it looks really beautiful it reminds me of the shade in the Huda palette and there's a shade like this in the Juvia's Place magic palette as well but those shades are just so fun because they're like a little bit of everything and she did include a black as well which a lot of people always look for black in palettes I personally can smoke out my corner with anything but some people really like having black eyeshadows in palettes so that is the last row of shades so I have swatches pretty much everywhere at this point and uh, I'm just going to show you the palette one more time this thing is going to get really dirty because it's all like silver and white but that's okay it's very Jaclyn Hill so anyway, that is it for my swatch video. I know this was kind of quick, but like I said, I will have a full review up once I test it. I just wanted to swatch it for you guys. Overall, first impressions from the swatches. I think this is going to be a good palette. I don't think it's anything different from what Morphe usually does. So I really don't know what the price, like why it's higher priced than the regular Morphe palette, I'm assuming, because, you know, Jaclyn Hill's got to get a cut of whatever the palette is selling for so maybe they had to make it a little bit higher priced. Um, I've heard some weird rumors about like Morphe being sold. Uh, Morphe is trying to get into like Sephora just like a bunch of weird stuff but I can neither confirm nor deny those things and uh, it might just be me watching too many drama channels because that's been happening a lot recently but uh, yep still love Jaclyn Hill and I think I'm going to get quite a lot of use out of this palette so yeah. Thank you so much for watching this guys. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and do that as well. Have a good day. Bye.